give an object elastic potential energy when we stretch it, like a spring, or an elastic band. It's called potential energy because the energy is stored. Let's look at this in a little more detail. When I stretch back the sling on this catapult, the elastic potential is stored in the sling. That's why we call it potential energy. Potential energy means it's stored. Now I can release this energy by stretching it, it's held at the moment, and then I'm gonna release the energy. Here goes. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> yes, the potential energy was released as kinetic energy, okay? The potential energy changed into kinetic energy. Told you to wear your safety glasses, didn't I? Just to emphasize again, all the elastic potential energy turned into kinetic energy when I released the catapult. You see, that's the point about energy. You can't just get rid of it or destroy it. So it's got to change from one type of energy to another. What is it, boys? Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change from one form to another. Let me demonstrate again. <laughs> Let's start running, lads. So you see, the potential energy that I had stored in there turned into kinetic energy and uh, heat and sound as well when it hit in. It was a good shot that, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, don't know where you're off now. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No! Please note that the science geeks used in our experiments are genetically engineered and feel no pain. If they're damaged, we simply grow another one. It's either that or we use cute furry animals. What would you prefer?